Alright, it's Spencer with Online Live Nation doing the next part of the Playpack 200. Um, obviously I didn't finish it if you've seen the leaderboards for it. <clears throat> um, this is Fallout 2. Um, a lot of people are familiar with the franchise. Um, it's obviously much different today, but uh, it's basically a, a like top-down um, RPG style point-and-click kind of game. It's definitely a little more slower pace. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, franchise personally, but um, it's definitely a quality game. Um, really awesome cutscenes in it too. Well done. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, it's a keyboard and mouse game. All right, next up is Edge. Uh, so game you can use controller with, I believe. Um, if not, the controls are really simple on the keyboard. Uh, it's kind of like an interactive puzzle, um, moving the square around. It's definitely a fun game. Um, and it's not too challenging in the beginning. Um, I would assume it would get more challenging later on. But I had fun playing it. Um, it's a good leisurely title. And there's a bit of challenge to it. As you can tell, you just kind of interact with this world, with this little cube, um, moving around, uh, activating bridges and things like that. This is uh, another Fallout series. Again, they have um, really interesting cutscenes. They're very well done. Uh, I think that's a big part of why the franchise has such brand recognition with it. And this one, because they're pretty similar, I didn't really record too much of the gameplay, um, if any. Just kind of see the cinematics of it. You can tell it's very stylized. and I think a lot of fans of the series could see a cutscene out of context and probably recognize where it's coming from. Right, next up is Blood Rain. Um, this isn't a game I played personally before. Um, I've, I've always heard good things about it. It's another game with good cutscenes. Uh, the in-game animation isn't too spectacular, obviously. But uh, it controls pretty well. It's seems pretty fun. Um, it's more of an action game. Uh, one thing I did have trouble with is just lining up some of the drum jumps. Uh, the, um, the fighting in it is really cool. You get interesting powers. Um, as you can see, it's a weird twisting move to break down walls. <coughs> but it's a fun game. Definitely worth checking out. Now, for some reason, this it won't let me hit done on here for a minute. Um, as you can see, it's been up for a good amount of time. Um, this is sped up, obviously. Alright, so uh, you can choose a side to be with in this game, um, which you were just seeing there. Um, they're fun little cutscenes, too, in this game. Um, they're definitely well done. Uh, more of a cartoony style animation. And, uh, obviously I didn't play too far and it, it did take a little while to get going. But, I don't know, I had fun with that game. It's worth checking out. Uh, a little RPG style venture art game. Tronic. Um, it's a side-scroller game. It's pretty fun. Definitely a game you get right into the action with. Pretty strange looking um, game. It's a weird drunk fat guy dressed up as the gnome. Maybe he's needs liquor or something like that. I can't remember. You're going through, um, you basically have 
almost like a nerf gun. You're fighting like vegetables. Uh, strange concept. Uh, it was pretty fun though. Uh, you've got like a Mario style coin collection thing going on with blocks to jump into. Next up is uh, Darkness Within 2. This is very similar, it appeared anyways, to be uh, similar to like Dear Esther. I know I did a video of that, if you've seen it. Um, kind of a exploration game. Pretty strange. Um, looks like it has a pretty good story. I, I didn't, obviously didn't get too far into it, but... I'm not a big story gamer personally, but if that's something you're really into, it's definitely a good game to check out. Um, it looks a lot better than it does here too, um, just because the frame skipping with the sped up video got kind of grainy. And, uh, you can see a uh, spammer I dealt with there. problem lately. I know, at least for me personally, I've been getting a lot of spammers. This is Fotilla. Um, it's a pretty interesting turn-based game. Um, it's not graphically amazing, but the gameplay is really intricate. Uh, it's definitely very fun. It's kind of a, almost like a chess-like experience. A lot more control. You plan out these flight paths and the type of firing you're going to be doing. Um, not unlike uh, Frozen Synapsis, only this is with like spaceships. <clears throat> you have a full 3D range of how the ships are going to move. And next up, and next up we're going to go back to some of the Sega games. Um, like I was saying before, I didn't finish this challenge, uh, just mostly time constraints and hard drive space was a big issue. Next is uh, Bonsai Bros, Bonanza Bros, excuse me. Very strange characters in this, the way they look. It's uh, kind of side scroller shooter. Um, you're fighting off the cops, you're like a robber. Um, it was a pretty difficult game to uh, get used to. It was fun though, it was interesting. Be haven't tried it out with like a local T-player, see if that works with this game. And next up is Echo Jr. These were pretty popular when uh, Sega was popular. Um, had an issue there, it closed out itself. Uh, basically you control Dolphin um, you're trying to find different things with your echolocation. Uh, you can also communicate with fish and other dolphins, get hints. Um, it's a pretty fun game, then. It's actually a pretty fast path, uh, fast paced, excuse me. Um, kind of like a bonus mission here, crystals. And it's kind of hard to tell because it is so sped up, it's kind of crazy looking, but um, the echolocation actually does come back to you to indicate that that is the way you're supposed to be going. Yeah, it's kind of like a maze adventure. This is Fatal Labyrinth. It's like a dungeon crawler. Pretty classic format. Um, you have to you do find different weapons you have to equip. Um, it's 
pretty hard, the uh, beasts are a little bit stronger than you. It's definitely easy to get overwhelmed. Definitely not my favorite game with the Sega games that they released, but um, it definitely has a fan base. Not much of a dungeon crawler. This is the next Sega game, um, Super Thunder. And it's a f flying shooter. Um, it's a pretty difficult game. You have to dodge buildings, bullets, and the other helicopters. But, uh, it's a good chance you've played a lot of games like it, but um, yeah, it's a fun style of game, and uh, this one does it pretty well. It's, it's challenging, which I think this appeals to more of a hardcore gamer. That appreciates a challenge. This is um, Columns. It's kind of a Tetris style game or Dr. Mario kind of style, if you will. Bejeweled. There's tons of games like this now. Um, but it's a fun, like, puzzle game. Um, and there's not too much to say about it that you can't see here. Like I said, I'm sure you played at least one game like it. <clears throat> but, uh, it handles well. It looks okay. Um, Alright, next up is Dr. Robotics. Robotnik's, excuse me. Um, and this is pretty much Dr. Mario, if you've ever played that. It's almost the same. Uh, very similar to the last game, too. Um, only you are battling a computer. And um, for every set of colors they clear, which I believe has to be four or more, uh, yes, you get um, black, like beans that you can't clear um, very easily. So it's a, a battle to send your opponent to the top. Um, and as you can see, the computer was destroying me there. Uh, next up is Alex Kid. Um, very strange side-scroller. Uh, appear to be like an Indian kid play a lot of uh, rock, paper, scissors for like prizes. Um, it's very challenging to get over the cars too. It's a very strange game definitely. Uh, it's pretty interesting though. I mean to check it out again, play a little bit farther in. Uh, that is fun. I think you see the cars were pretty annoying there. Right, next up is Rizstar. I'm having some network problems. This is uh, kind of like a Sonic experience. Um, it's a side scroller, and you're like this weird star character with uh, stretchy arms. Um, and you get around with those arms by swinging or uh, climbing different things. Uh, you also attack that way. Um, it definitely has a very interesting gameplay. Uh, it's very different than a lot of games which is always refreshing when you're going back um, and playing older games. And the uh, this first boss battle is definitely very interesting. Uh, 
It's pretty difficult. As you can see, there's like this whole grid you move around by that swinging motion. And you basically had to catch that worm from behind and slam into it. This is Galaxy Force 2. This is another like flying rail shooter. Uh, and there are you know, so many of these games that is, exist and even come out today. Um, they're fun, they're fast paced. I didn't I don't recall too many like power ups that I found so far. But it controls nicely, it's not overly difficult. Um, and your flying skills are challenged too. Um, that's not just the shooting aspect. There's, there's a lot of dodging um, parts of the environment. But not to the extent um, of the helicopter one that I showed earlier. So uh, the buildings in that one were very difficult to get around, it was annoying. And next up we have a uh, Kid Chameleon. And this is a it's a very strange style of uh, side scroller, just the visuals of it I think. You see this ninja in the beginning and then what you get, this character, it, it's almost like a cross between like Mario and Johnny Cage, which I found kind of funny. Maybe like uh, Princess Peach, Johnny Cage, a love child. But, uh, it's very similar to Mario. Um, there's blocks you smash with your head, there's enemies you can jump on to kill. Um, you also get different power ups that change you into a different character. Where that's where the chameleon part comes in, obviously. Um, and then it, it I didn't get too many of the power-ups, um, because obviously I didn't play too long, but the first one, you get this suit of armor, uh, you smash through rocks. Uh, it's definitely one worth checking out. I'll definitely be going back to that in the future, play a little farther in. Alright, this is Eternal Champions. Um, it's a fighting game. Not uh, too different from what you'd expect from like Mortal Kombat and stuff. Uh, they handled pretty well. Uh, there's nothing spectacular about it, but did have a bit of a challenge. I'm not too sure about the moves for the characters. Um, it's definitely something you'd be able to find online. But if you're a fan of uh, this old style of fighting games and definitely check it out. Uh, still popular today. I'm, I've never really heard of this franchise personally, but... Okay, and that's it for this episode of the Playpack 200. I um, only have one more left to put up for now. Uh, I'm gonna go back and finish it, even though the uh, event is long past now. Um, this one and the next one were recorded during as I was saying before, didn't have time to finish it, or the hard drive space to finish it either. But uh, I will go back and finish it periodically in between other projects, but I'm gonna get back to focusing on some of the other ones once all the space is cleared out. All right, thanks for watching.